In this video, I'm going to show you how we can divide numbers. I'm going to demonstrate using base 10 blocks, but I'm also going to show you how that is similar and related to using the box method, which is a method we're going to start using um, a lot. So you won't really have to use the base 10 blocks. I'm just showing you why we do what we do. So in this problem, we're doing 39 divided by 2. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to model the 39. Three tens and nine ones. That's my 39, my total. So I need to model it right here. The next thing I'm going to do is draw two groups. Here I'm just writing the problem um, in my box model, 39 divided by 2. I'm going to start dividing. I start with my tens. I did two um, of them because I knew that I could put one in each of those groups. But there, there was only one left over. So that's what I'm showing here. 3 minus 2 is 1. The reason I did 3 minus 2 is 1 is because I had three tens and I put two of them in my groups, right? I put a 10 up here and a 10 down there. The thing is, I had one more 10 left and I couldn't divide that equally. So that's what the three minus two equals one is, okay? So watch what I do. We already know this part. We know that we take the 10 and we're gonna decompose it into 10 ones. So that's what I'm doing right here. But watch, this is cool. In the model, what I do is I take that one right there and I'm actually gonna draw an arrow and then I'm gonna write a one right there in front of the nine to show that now I have 19 ones. And you can see here, I do, I have 19 ones. See all those ones? 19 of them. So that's what I have left and I need to divide that into two groups. That's fine, I can do that. I know that, um, hmm, let me think. 8 times 2 would be 16, 9 times 2 would be 18, and um, 10 times 2 would be 20. So I don't have 20, so I'm going to have to do 9 in each group. If I do two groups of 9, that would be 18. So this is what I write right here. I say that I, I put 9 in each group. That's the number I put on the top. The fact that I can put nine in each group and I have enough means I need to put nine on the top. That's how many are in each group, okay? So there's my nine. And then I have to do how many all together did I just do? It was nine times two, right? Nine times two. So I have to multiply those because that's how many I put into the groups, 18 of them. And I still had one left over, so watch. That's why I subtract. 19 minus 18 gives me just one left over. And we've already talked about the leftovers, and we know that leftovers are remainders, right? So we saw that in our model, that there was one that we couldn't do. So what you do in the box method is you draw another arrow up to that spot right there with the R, and you just rewrite it. There's a remainder of one. And you can see, again, that one right here. That little one, he, he's left over. So that means my answer is how many is in each group? 19. And there's a remainder of just one that couldn't be divided into the groups. And as you can see here in the box method as well, that's the answer I got. The answer is right here on top. 19, remainder, 1.